All right, welcome to lab number three. We're going to start to use uh, ARM templates or Azure Resource Manager templates um, to uh, basically automate or possibly automate resource management and uh, as well as to easily copy the types of resources that we have already created. And uh, we're going to do this with disks because they are easy and uh, quick to create and cheap. So um, I'm first going to create a, a disk um, in a manual way. And I'm going to create a um, resource group here for this lab as well. So then we can easily remove everything in one go. I'm going to call our disk AZ104. Oops. 104 disk one, right? East to West, uh, we don't care about the availability zone. I'm just going to make it a very small, very cheap disk. So standard uh, 32. All right. So um, this, this kind of roughly works with everything else as well. So um, it doesn't need to be a disk, but it's just handy to, to um, practice with these. All right, so the deployment is uh, complete. Now, if we go to the resource, you can see over here on the left-hand side, there is this automation part of the UI, and that includes a functionality that's called export template. So when you go here first, it'll actually generate the template for you based on the uh, configuration of the resource. And it's this JSON file over here. You can see um, the disk name is here. It's that it's a disk. It has a, a location. It has a standard SKU. It has some properties like the size and, and so on. Um, and then it has some parameters. Now with parameters, the default parameters are given here in this template.json file. Uh, and then we can override them in a separate parameters file, right? So here it's not overridden. The uh, value is actually null. Now I can download these onto my local hard drive. Downloaded them as a zip file. Uh, and then uh, what I can do is I can reuse them, right? So the way that that works is I search for deploy a custom template. And, and just a quick note here that there are um, quick start templates here that, that, that exist for, for example, for disks. So, so all kinds of stuff so that you can use. However, we wanted to use that template that we just generated. So I'm going to pick the uh, first one here, uh, build your own template in the editor. Now note here, we have this option, option of loading a file. So I'm going to do that. And now we're specifically uploading the template file, not the parameters file. Um, so this is the same thing that we saw previously. And now let's make a change. Let's change the uh, parameter here to disk name. And it's just kind of, so that when its name is given, it's going to use that parameter here. Parameter is disk name, disk name. And then let's set the default value to be a disk two instead of disk one, right? Everything else is the same. So if we set it, uh, uh, save that template, you can see that the name has propagated here. Um, and then we uh, review and create it. Then we should be able to get another disk into our system. Okay. So if we now go to the resource group, we should see that we have two disks um, created. 
Now, naturally, we don't need to do this using the portal. We could just as well use uh, PowerShell for this. So let's just quickly open Cloud Shell in uh, PowerShell mode. And then let's put this stuff into our resource group. I think we're in East US. And then a very unique name, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, Cloud Shell. Uh, can't even type. Oh, we're going to use the classic mode, as that's what the uh, lab instructions say. And then we're going to upload our files into the shell instance. Okay, so um, let's quickly edit again the uh, template file and let's the default uh, disk value name now be disk3. And then in uh, PowerShell, we can use this with the commandlet new Azure. No, uh, AZ resource. Yeah, resource uh, group deployment. And then we needed to have a resource group name, which was AZ um, 104 RG3. Uh, then we're going to give it the template file, which is the template.json, and then the uh, parameters. Sorry, template parameter file. There we go. Okay, so now the disk should have been created. So one way to check is to get a Z disk. I don't think we have any other disks here. So um, we can see here disk number three was created. Also the previous disks are here, disk 2 and disk 1. Cool. Now let's try this also from the bash side. So when we're working with Azure, we have the option of either using PowerShell commandlets to do things in Azure for us, or we can use the uh, AZ CLI command um, in case we don't even want to use PowerShell. So for this one, we're going to again edit the template. And now it's this number four. And otherwise it's the same thing, but the command is just different, right? So, so in AZ, it's AZ deployment group create. And then we give the same parameters. So the resource, res, I can't type, resource group is AZ 104 RG3. Um, then the template file is uh, template.json. And then the parameters are parameters.json. Okay, that seems to have succeeded as well. Now we can similarly list the disks um, from the AC command. Let's just put them out in a table so it's a little bit easier to read. There we go, so we have four disks available. Now, um, there is a more modern way to do infrastructure deployment than ARM templates, and that's uh, using BICEP. So in the lab files, there is a ready-made um, BICEP 
example that we're going to use here. And then if we quickly take a look at it. This is what it looks like. So here we have the same kind of structure. So we have this resource managed disk over here at the bottom, where we're, for example, defining the, the uh, uh, school. So we could change that to be uh, standard SSD, LRS. Um, and then we have disk sizes, but the disk size here is referring to a parameter, right? Similarly as the allocation and the name. So the parameters are defined up here in the beginning. So the first one here is the name of the managed disk to be copied. And uh, let's just call it now disk five, right? This is our fifth disk. Here is the size. We have some restrictions, minimum and maximum value. It's gonna be uh, 32 gigs. Uh, and the rest we don't really touch. I'll just save this one as well. And then we're going to just basically run the same command again. So az deployment group create resource group is our resource group. But now instead of having a JSON file as the template file, we're going to have that bicep file instead. And basically what happens in the background is, is that a, uh, a JSON template file will be created based on that bicep file. Um, and then it's been going to be used to um, deploy our disk. And there are some benefits from using bicep um, that we're not going to go into um, here, but just you know look up the documentation and uh, some blogs with regards to the differences between using normal JSON-based ARM templates and BICEP. Great, our, our disk is uh, ready. So it has provisioning site is succeeded. So then again, if we list our disks, we can now see that we have five disks. And the difference here is that the uh, SKU of the last disk was different from the previous ones. And also the naming scheme was a little bit different from the BICEP file. All right, cool. Thanks for listening to me for this lab and see you in the next one.